Hey guys, I'm Michael from eKids. Hey -o. And today I'm excited to talk to you about Jesus. I'm good. He's the most important person in the Bible because, well, Jesus is God. Yep. When I was your age, a long time ago, when I was your age, you know, kids used to wear this, these little bracelets around their wrists that said WWJD. What would Jesus do? What would Jesus do? I want you to think about, well, what did Jesus do? And what would Jesus do today? And another thing I want you to think about, what's going on? What should you do? Because uh... we should be more like Jesus. Wow. So what did Jesus do? What would Jesus do today, and what should you do? Now, another thing I wanted to mention is our memory verse. John chapter 14, verse 6. I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Hmm. Let's say it again. John 14, 6. I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Huh. So that's our memory verse. Let's learn more about what that means and let's learn more about Jesus and think about what did Jesus do, what would Jesus do, and what should you do. All right, check it out. This is Mary. Hi. You see, Mary was the mother of Jesus. But before that happened, she lived in the town of Nazareth. And she was engaged to marry a man named Joseph. Hey, -o. Hi, Joseph. Who <laughs> got it? Mary got pregnant by the power of God. Hey, huh? Joseph didn't understand all this at first, but an angel came and told him to still take Mary as his wife. Yeah, okay. So he did as the angel said. Not long after that, the ruler of the land, Caesar Augustus, wanted to count how many people were in the land. So Caesar Augustus ordered everyone in the land to travel back to their hometowns so that they could be counted. Joseph's hometown was Bethlehem, so Mary and Joseph traveled from Nazareth all the way to Bethlehem. When they arrived in Bethlehem, they looked for a place to stay. No, I'm sorry. Oh, man. But there was no room for them. Uh, what about that? Um, okay. So they stayed in a barn, and while they were there, Mary gave birth to Jesus. Whoa. <laughs> she wrapped him snugly in the strips of cloth and laid him in a manger. Excuse me. And so the Son of God, the Savior of the world, was born in a barn in Bethlehem. All right, so this week we have two stories. Thank you. That was story number one. Check out story number two. Wow. I think you're gonna like it. Jesus grew up in a small town called Nazareth. Jesus had brothers and sisters. One of his brothers was James, Hi. and he followed Jesus his whole life. Hey, Jesus, wait up! Jesus also had a cousin named John. Hey, John. Hey, Jesus. Who would later be known as John the Baptist. Mom, home. Jesus was an Israelite, and his family practiced the Jewish customs and holidays. Jesus. Everyone who knew Jesus liked him. Jesus' earthly dad was a carpenter. What's up? What's up? Ah, I see. Jesus learned from Joseph and became a carpenter himself. As Jesus grew up, he learned more about God and what his plan was. He studied the word of God and remembered all that it said. Jesus prepared himself for everything that God wanted him to do. So when it was time, he was ready to be the Messiah, the promised savior of the Israelites and all of mankind. 
Hey guys, I'm way back here this time. Now listen, what we've learned is today was a lot about Jesus and the things that he did. And as we learn these things, I want you to ponder something. See, in your head is where you think. It's where you know things. In your heart is where you feel and where like you believe things. And in your feet with these crazy mismatched shoes, in your feet is where you walk things out and you do things. So as we learn about Jesus, I want you to know about what he did. And I want you to believe what he did. And I want you to walk it out. So let's use our, our brains, our minds, our hearts. And let's use our feet with the things we learn about Jesus. So again, guys, what would Jesus do? What did Jesus do? And what should you do? Let's know it, believe it, and then go do it. All right, guys, I love you. I hope you have a great week. We'll see you next time. For now, bye. Hey, y'all. See y'all.